There is absolutely no reason to be concerned. It worked. She bought it. I'm telling you, Father, she'll be gone. Sheridan will leave Harmony for good. What? Do you know anything about this, Mother? No, it's news to me. I have to talk to Sheridan. Yeah. It's perfection is what it was. Your plan worked like a charm. I don't see Sheridan ever returning to Harmony. Well, we, if she had any suspicions that the man she overheard in the phone wasn't Luis, we'd be playing an entirely different game now, wouldn't we? But she had no idea, none. Oh, the imposter you hired was perfect, and the mask is just devastatingly accurate. I just heard Father say something about you leaving Harmony for good. Is that true? I have no choice. I don't understand. I can't stay. I mean, Luis has ruined things for me. He's ruined everything. Whoa. What's up, Luis? Nothing. Nothing? I'd say your desk doesn't think it's nothing. Sheridan. What happened? I don't know. I mean, she turned on me just like that. She slapped me across the face out of nowhere. You kidding? No. Well, I mean, what in the world did you say to her or, or do to her? <laughs> Nothing good, evidently. You don't even know what you did to her? No clue. Oh, come on. It had to be something. You want my honest opinion? I think the woman's nuts. <clears throat> Bruce, we want you to arrest her for assault. Oh, that's funny. Come on, I'm just trying to get you to loosen up. Come on, talk to me. I don't know, I guess... I guess my biggest mistake was thinking that she was different from any of the other cranes. I'm sorry, Luis. I warned you about flying too close to the crane's son. Did you get involved with them? You get burned. Yeah. I got burned, all right. Sheridan Crane burned me bad. Hey, but that'll never happen again. Never. We'll take Charity in for observation, and we'll see what happens from there. Dr. Russell, are you sure she has to go to the hospital? Seems like the only thing to do, right, Dr. Russell? Well, it's better to be safe. TC's calling the hospital right now. Dr. Russell? Yes, Kay. Is observation like commitment? No, observation is exactly what it says. We're going to observe her. Charity, you're going to be okay. I promise. Oh, just a little bit further. Oh, you wouldn't want to help, would you, Timmy? The Calva can't get it. Oh. There isn't much chance to, can Hello? Is anybody home? What's happened? What's wrong? Is it Charity? Grace, I don't want to upset you, but I'm making arrangements to have Charity admitted. What? She was hallucinating again, Mom. Sweetheart. This is not good, Timmy. We need Charity here so I can keep on trying to get her over to our side. Timmy feels bad for Charity. Your compassion is truly inspiring. Is it really that bad? I mean, is there no alternative to taking her to the hospital? I'm afraid not. line and sinker, lure, rod, and reel. She swallowed the whole thing. She... <laughs> I never doubted your plan, Father. You... Right. Of 
course. I won't rest easy until she's out of the country either, Father. I don't know. We'll talk later. Oh, Ivy, hi. How long have you... How dare you? How dare you and your father play God with someone else's love life? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. What you and Alistair are doing to Louise and Sheridan is unconscionable. If I had a clue as to what you were Don't talking about... Don't insult me. I heard every word. I know how you regard Louise, but to deceive your own sister... Spare me the sermon, would you? This is a volatile situation. Therefore, radical measures were required. If I hadn't responded the way I did, Sheridan might very well have brought down the entire Crane family. I had to keep them apart at all costs. Why, Julian? How could a simple love affair bring down the almighty Crane Empire? You have to reconsider, Sheridan. There's just no you way. You can't let Luis run you out of town. This is your home. This is where you belong. Your family needs you. We love you. And you need us. Lisa. I've missed too many years not being with you. I mean, the thought of missing you more, not being able to turn to you for advice and understand, for fun. I just don't know what else to do. Luis Lopez Fitzgerald is a jerk. Look, forget him. Forget he ever existed. Look, I I'm going to try to, but it it's going to be hard. Perhaps too hard. And the only way that I can do that is to leave Harmony. I mean, there's no way that I can avoid him if I stay here. Luis and I may run in different social sets, but we just have this uncanny way of always running into each other. And I don't want to have to peer around every corner hoping I don't see him. I can't live like that. You can't just leave, Sheridan. Jason, I know that it's going to be difficult. And I am going to miss you terribly. Harmony just isn't the place for me anymore. I I've been away for so... I feel like I have roots here anymore. Well, stay. Uh, try and put some roots down. Look, Ethan, I can't. But you're leaving the same reason you left Paris. Because you were hurting from a bad love affair. Ironic, isn't it? And here, I thought Harmony would be the best place for me to lick my wounds. I never thought that I would run into someone like Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. After our first meeting, when I crashed into his police car, I thought that he was the most arrogant man. And I, I have to admit, I wasn't much better. But he and I were like oil and water together. I never thought that I would open up to him. And now here I am again, running away. My tail between my legs. Fooled by the man, I was so sure that... I'm hurting, Ethan. Worse than I ever have. Now, well, if I would have known that the woman was completely out of her mind, I would have looked twice before I left. But uh, it just baffles me, Sam. I don't know what to say, Luis. I just nothing to say, you know. I'm just gonna forget it happened and get back to my work. I can tell you one thing. I'm not going to let it eat me up. I don't doubt what you're saying, Louise, but this woman who slapped you doesn't sound anything like the Sheridan Crane I've met. Well, yeah, if I didn't have her fingerprints tattooed across my face, I guess I would agree with you. Well, are you sure you didn't do anything to provoke her? Positive. Things were going great, you know. It was... We were really starting to connect. Well, something had to have happened. I mean, maybe not between you and her, but something. Yeah. I mean, the only explanation is that the family laid down the law about who she could see, and she caved. Now, which doesn't sit well with me at all. She was tougher than that. You know, she, she, she would have never buckled to her family and let them dictate who she could see. Who knows what goes on inside a crazy family. Yeah. Well, the hell with her. The hell with her, right? You really cared for her, didn't you? I don't know. You, know. you wouldn't get so upset if it didn't. You're right. I care. Well, yeah, at least I was starting to care. You know, we were having fun. You know, it seemed like we were really starting to connect. And she was different. She, 
she didn't have her nose up in the air like her brother Julian, you know? She didn't, she didn't act like she was better than everyone else because she was a crane. So, are you mad because she fooled you? Or is your pride getting to you? Or are you hurt because you fell for this woman hard? Harder than any other woman you've fallen for in your life. I called the hospital. We're all set. They're arranging a bed for her tonight. Are you sure there's no alternative, Eve? I've done everything that I can, Grace. Couldn't you just treat her here? I've tried. I've, I've tried to talk to her. I've tried to understand what she's thinking. I've tried to calm her. I've sedated her. And nothing. If anything, her hysteria seems to be getting worse. Now, I'm just afraid that when that sedative wears off, that Charity's hyper-hysteria is going to intensify, and we can't handle that here. She needs hospital attention. Dr. Russell, please help her. I'll do everything I can, Miguel. We'll take a whole battery of tests. We'll find out what's wrong with her. <laughs> you red doll. There's not a drop of sentimentality in your little stuffed body. Do something, Kay. What can I do? You hurt your mom. Tell them about the bird. If you let them take Cherry to the hospital without letting them know. What? You will rot in hell. Look, I know putting the bird under Charity's bed was not the best idea. You've gone too far, Kay. Now, you've done a lot of bizarre nonsense in your time to keep Miguel away from Charity, but this is just wrong. Your mom's upset. Miguel's upset. Charity... Oh, no. I hate seeing Charity this way. And I really hate seeing Miguel and my mom so upset. Maybe you're right, son. Oh, I know I'm right. Maybe I should get that bird out from under Charity's bed and show it to your mom. We're done for. Yeah, okay. I'll admit it. You know, my pride was hurt. And yeah, I let Sheridan get too close. No, but what can I say? You know, she really got to me when we flew down to Santa Fe. You know, looking for the man who we thought was my father, who, thank God, turned out to be a fake. But you know? You know why she came along? <laughs> she said she did it for my mother. I mean... I don't know if I really believe her. I mean, that doesn't matter. I mean, it was still pretty great of her that she came along. I mean, whatever her reasons. You know, and uh, after I saved her life a couple times, you know, I really started looking forward to seeing her again. <laughs> well, saving someone's life will do that to you. Yeah. No, I mean, seriously. Things are really starting to go well. Do you think it's possible that she thought you made some sort of commitment to her and then backed out? Backed out of what? I'd only kissed her a couple times, that's it. You know, if anything, she seemed like she was the one who wanted to see me. Uh, and then, then bam, you know, she slaps me across the face and splits. You talk about a wake-up call. A, a love affair between Luis and Sheridan destroy the Crane Empire. Uh, forgive me if I'd rather not go into that right now, but trust me. Luis is nothing less than an attack dog. If he were to get close to our family, with Sheridan behind him, he'd be relentless. He wouldn't stop asking questions until he'd gotten what he was looking for. Which would be what? It's unimportant. What is important is one question from that meddling cop would lead to another. Before we knew it, Luis would have his hooks in us with intent to destroy. I am not going to stand by and watch your paranoia hurt Sheridan like this. Where do you think you're going? To see Sheridan. To show her this mask and tell her the truth. I understand very well how you'd love to see the cranes humiliated, but are you willing to sacrifice everything? Lose everything? that pleasure. You are aware that you'll lose everything if you tell Sheridan the truth, your position in this town, your status, it'll all be gone. 
You'll be the poster woman for pariahs. Miss Sheridan really mean that much to you. I'm not just doing this for Sheridan. I'm doing this for myself. Do you know how long it's been? How many years it has taken me to realize the price I paid? To understand fully that love is more important than all the power and money in the world. The biggest regret of my life, Julian, is that I came back after I ran out on our wedding night, after I heard you and Alistair discussing what a brilliant business deal our marriage was, after I realized that money was the only reason for our union. Do you know how much it killed me that I came back? The angels weep for you, I'm sure. I may not be close to Sheridan, but I will not stand by and watch her give up on the possibility of love and settle for a cold marriage like I have. That's not true. We've had a moment. Don't touch me. A marriage hasn't been totally cold, and you know it. Oh, I am warning you, Julian. We have four children to show for, huh? Our honeymoon certainly wasn't loveless, considering Ethan was born nine months later. Perhaps Ethan's birthday would have been a day earlier if you hadn't have run out on me the first night of our honeymoon. Oh, please, Julian. I always wonder where you ran off to that night. A friend took you. playing God with your sister's life, hiring an impersonator? How low will you sink? I'm trying to help her, Ivy. Oh, you have been on a roll, Julian. Everything has gone your way, but your luck just ran out. I am going to blow you out of the water. You may not care about losing your position in this town, Ivy, but are you... Are you willing to lose Ethan? Sales day, Sheridan. I just don't think it would work, Ethan. There are other ways to avoid Luis. You don't have to run all the way back to Europe. You know, the hard part isn't what I would do if I saw him or ran into him. It's not about physically avoiding him. The hard part is the mental side. No, mental's not the right word. The hardest part is... The emotional part. Getting him out of your heart. Well, running umpteen thousand miles in the opposite direction isn't going to change that. I know you're right, Ethan. The fool that I was, I opened my heart to Luis and he walked right in. I mean, I left Paris as soon as I found out Jean-Luc was cheating on me and just using me. I vowed that I would never trust another man again. How could I just let Luis... I won't stand for what he's done to you. I, I wouldn't normally suggest this, because it's not the way I like to do things. What? A man like Luis, someone who acts like that, doesn't deserve to be on the police force. Now, it's up to you, of course, but if you like, as the crane liaison with the police department, I can find a way to get Luis fired. At least then you can take refuge in a small measure of revenge. I know what you're going through, Luis. I know what it feels like to have someone walk out on you with no explanation. Someone you think you have a real... A real good future with it. Yeah. Hey, there was someone before.
Gilbert Grace? That's nah, not important. No, 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 no. Who no, is it, she? It was, it was nothing. It was what nothing. happened? <sighs> Kid stuff. We were way over our heads. Grace is the only woman that I've ever loved. The only woman I will ever love. All right. Look, the point is, I know it's tough when a woman walks out on you. But, but there comes a time when you got to move on. I hear you. And you may never understand why Sheridan turned on you. Because the trains play by their own set of rules. They play dirty. But the best thing that you can do is just let go. Get on with your life. Forget about it. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Now that Sheridan's finished with their community service, there's no reason for me to ever lay eyes on her again. You know, it's easy to get someone out of your life physically. I mean, you just stay away from them. But to get rid of someone emotionally, to get them out of your heart is tough. Do you think you could forget about Sheridan? happens I'm here I will always be here no matter what okay we're gonna get you through this charity we're gonna see that you're all right what's happening to me we don't know but we're gonna find out don't worry am I going crazy no you're gonna be okay my mom she used to act crazy maybe I inherited it forget the bird Charity doesn't need anyone's help. She's doing just fine on her own. What are you two up to? Nothing good, I'm sure. Why would you think that? Is it because you're the most annoying person in the world? You can play dumb all day long for all I care. I know you're doing something with Charity. I haven't figured out what, but I'm working on it. All right. You want to know what I had to do with Charity going crazy? I'll tell you. What did you say to me? Perhaps my initial argument wasn't strong enough to persuade you to stay away from Sheridan, but I believe this one will do the trick. What do you think? Oh, you son she of She even a... loves being a crane. It's his whole persona. He's the crown prince. If you bring down the family, Ethan will come tumbling down with the rest of us and be sentenced to a life of living down the family shame. A shame brought on by you. Do you think of your boy? He'll lose all sense of himself. He'll cripple him. And he'll hate you for destroying us. I doubt that he'll ever even speak to you again the pain you'll have caused. The Crane name means so much to Ethan. The family future rests on his shoulders. He's poised to lead the Cranes into the 21st century, and he and Gwen will continue the dynasty. But do you think for a second the Hotchkiss family will allow their Gwen to marry our boy in light of the crane name being dragged through the mud. Ethan will lose not only the family power, wealth, and prestige, he'll lose the woman he loves. Have you thought about that? Is that what you want for your son? I appreciate the offer, Ethan. I could never ask you to take Luis off the force. He's a good policeman, the best. What he did is between him and me. I think what he did stinks. You know, it, when I step back and look at what happened, you really can't blame Luis. I mean, he certainly didn't mean for me to overhear his conversation. I, I was the one eavesdropping. Sheridan Crane. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I intend to use the very rich Miss Sheridan Crane for my own ends. How can you say he's not to blame? He treated you like dirt. I know, He but... lied to you. He led you on and pretended to care about you. He got you to care about him, just so he could use you. I mean, what didn't this guy do that was wrong? But you have to remember that Luis hates the Cranes. I mean, he blames us for his father's disappearance, and he hates that his mother has to work for us. I don't care who or what he hates. The fact is, he hurt you. I know, but may maybe he just couldn't see past me being a crane. And I should have seen that, but I didn't. 
so in a way, it's my fault. How can you say that? Why are you defending him? I'm just so disappointed with the way things turned out. There's only one thing that disappoints me even more. Believe me, I have every intention of forgetting about Sheridan. Okay. Okay. I think we've wasted enough time talking about, uh... Yeah, what's her name? Oh. Time to talk shop, huh, Chief? Okay. And while we're at it, let's talk about your career. Now there's a subject worth discussing. You know you're up for detectives. Thought about it. Well, you're not there just yet. The commissioner's gonna review all your files. Shouldn't be a problem. Well, my files are tied up. They're all closed. All but one. You haven't closed the file on the Sheridan kidnapping and the death of the fake Martin. You sure you're up to it? All right. You want to know what I had to do with Charity flip me out? I'll tell you. Finally. Nothing! Zero! Zippo! You're lying! Where's your proof? What could I have possibly done to make Charity go crazy? I think you're the one that's crazy, Jessica. They should probably put you in for observation. I think we all know who the kook in the family is, Case. Fine. Go ahead. Tell Mom upset her more than she already is. This is very new to me. I mean, going in and out of lucidity this way? I haven't seen this before, and it worries me, Daisy. Charity? I think it's time to go to the hospital, sweetheart, okay? Dr. Russell? Yes, Kay. Well, shouldn't Charity be in a straitjacket? I know Ethan. He believes in fairness and honesty and true love. Family name be damned. He would want Sheridan to know that you and Alistair are trying to destroy her love life. Would he now? I know my son. My son would be proud if I showed this mask to Sheridan. Then by all means, tell her. Go ahead. What? Tell her. Tell her everything. It was all a big put on. Paint me as evil as you like. I won't stop you. I knew you'd come round. I won't risk my son's future. I didn't think you would. I can always count on you to do the right thing when Ethan's involved. What can be more disappointing than Luis you than you? When I first met Luis, I thought he was the most honest most sincere man I had ever known. And I didn't think he had a duplicitous bone in his body. And you were wrong. Dead wrong. He's two-faced, and I totally misjudged him. And that disappoints me more than anything, because I don't think I will ever be able to go over that. But, Sheridan, you will. I know you will. Look, Ethan, I, I appreciate you coming by, but I'm worn out by all this. I need to go to bed. Are you sure you'll be all right? I mean, if not, I can stay. Thanks. I'll be fine. I just need to be alone with my thoughts for a while. Promise me one thing? Name it. Don't think about leaving Harmony until we have another chance to talk. All right. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>
I know you overheard my phone conversation. And I want to tell you that I did it to drive you away. Well, you succeeded. I was afraid I was falling in love with you. But I didn't know how to handle it. I did it to scare you off. You did? Now I realize I can't live without you. You sure you're up to closing the file on Sheridan's kidnapping? Hey, I'm a cop. Whatever has to be done, I'll do it. It's my job. You're gonna have to talk to her again. So be it. I never let my feelings get in the way of my work. I'm just not that way. I wish there was some way I could take it off your hands or delay it for a few weeks. But it's your open file. You're gonna have to deal with it. It's part of the way that we're gonna judge you on your promotion. And then, the sooner I question Sheridan, the better. Do you think your cousin should be in a straight jacket? No, no, no. I just, I was thinking about Charity. What if she tried to hurt herself? Well, no straight jacket is necessary. She's not going to hurt herself or anybody else. Charity, sweetheart, let's get you up. Take your jacket. Take your time, honey. Get well, Charity. Oh. You're going to be fine, okay? Good luck. Thank you. Okay, girls, well, um... I'm going to take Charity to the hospital now. I want you to stay home and do your homework. I'm going with you. Miguel, I think it would be better if you stayed behind for I now. I won't get in the way, I promise. I'll come too. No. Look, you stay put. I know you're really worried about your cousin, but she's going to be okay. Promise. Come on. I don't think you should be smiling, Kay. Once Charity's away from the bird statue, she won't be having any more hallucinations. And the doctors will know that her hysteria has something to do with this house. So clean out her room and bring Charity back home. I didn't even think about that. Oh, wait. What now? I just have an idea that will fix everything. I don't like the sound of that at all. But first things first, we have to go downstairs and wish Charity bon voyage. <sighs> Tim Tim? Well, oh. <sighs> this recent turn of events is most unsettling, I must say. If Charity gets locked up in a loony bin, there's no way I can get to her. And then she won't fulfill the prophecy of killing Miguel, and we'll never be able to get her over to the dark side. Please tell me, you've got to do everything you can to keep Charity from being locked up. <gasps> Here they come again. Hide, hide. Before, was it? Not that I remember. Tabitha must have left it in here last time she was here. I think Tabitha's doll is exactly what I need. Oh no. I know I'm not doing the right thing by keeping that mask from Sheridan. I know how much she must be hurting right now. But I will do anything. I will sacrifice anything to keep my son happy. You're a wonderful mother, Ivy. Yes, I am. And I know that Ethan loves Gwen, and I won't let anything come between them. I will not have Ethan live his life with regret the way I have. No. Yeah. Mike's suggestion for you is to forget about the imposter. It'll all die away. And Sheridan will forget about Luis. Do you really believe that?
been thinking about you. You have? You're so good to me, Miguel. That's what I'm here for. I'm really scared. Every time I open my eyes, I see those visions. Don't be scared. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in an institution. That is not going to happen, right? You'll be out of here tomorrow. They're, they're just going to run some tests. I just want to be with you, Miguel. We'll always be together. But we can't be. What? <laughs> you have to leave now. Why? I want you to leave now and never turn back. Please just go. Charity, I... I... Please, just forget about me. Go. Come on, will you get the bird statue for me? No, whatever you're up to, I want no part of it. Oh, come on, Simone. I said no! Fine, I'll get it myself. Uh-oh. You want to hear a plan bordering on genius? No, not really. I am going to take this doll right here, cut a hole in its back, put the bird inside, and then take it to Charity's hospital room. You're crazy, and you know what? You're going to find yourself on court TV one day, and definitely not as an anchor. With this bird in Charity's presence, she's going to keep having those hallucinations. We'll keep her locked up forever. Now tell me it's not perfect. Hmm, perfectly psycho. Miguel is going to be mine. All mine. 